The first step in my painting process is to take source photos. I will frequently glean inspiration from multiple photos. In this example, I like the clouds in the upper left photo, the lighting and general composition of the photo in the upper right, and the tall flowers in the lower photo. From here I employ the time-honored classical academic painting method. In this process, masters such as Rembrandt, Vermeer, and Titian would break down the complexity of the painting process by working on the painting in three discrete steps. Firstly, on shape and form. Secondly, on value or light and dark. And lastly, on color. Applying this method to our example, the next step after the source material has been collected is to compose the painting and sketch the composition on canvas. Here I combine the elements from the photographs and sketch the image using a charcoal stick. In this step, I am concerned only with form. In the next step, the underpainting, I begin to apply rudimentary color, but I am really only concerned with establishing value. That is, how light or dark a given element should be within the context of the whole piece. This allows me to begin to create contrast between elements critical in creating the illusions of depth and dimension. In the final step, I fine-tune color using the value established in the underpainting and apply the color in painterly strokes. In breaking down the complexities of the painting in this way, this final step is delivered with much more confidence. Also, since other left-brain decisions of shape and value have already been solved, there is less crowding out of right-brain creativity and artistic flair is given more room to be expressed.